Hello everybody and welcome to Kitchen Gadget Testing 50. That's five tens. Maths. This is a very special one. It doesn't involve just me. Oh no, it involves the world of Star Wars. And I couldn't do Star Wars alone. I don't know Star Wars that well, as you know. So I've got a special guest. Oh, that's my tripod. No, it's not Boston Amy. It's Mr. Stuart Ashen. Hello. It's like a Barsham's reunion. I heard Star Wars and I was here. Yeah. Is, it, is, it, is it good? Yes, well... We don't mention the prequels. Yes. Yeah, we don't mention... Yeah, yeah, okay. So I have got a whole horde of Star Wars gadgets here in my house. I I'm can see at them, them the at the corner of my eye. And yeah, that, that's a lot of gadgetry, Barry. I have collected them for this very moment. And none of it is from the prequels. Good, no, good is work. that good? Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, there's That's a lot to crack Wars on. Points before we even start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot to crack on with, and we have got one already done. This was put in the freezer last night. Stu, can you have a little read of this? Certainly. Han Solo and Carbonite Silicone Ice Tray DX. What does the DX stand for? Deluxe? Means That's why you're here. I don't bigger know. Bigger version? No, I don't think that's a Star Wars reference. Oh, really? Um, oh, it's a bit of free on there. We'll cover that. Is it um, Han Solo, yeah? It is. Han Solo in Carbonite. Is that who Harrison Ford played? Correct. Yes. Another Star Wars point. You're up to 11 now. Well done. <laughs> so, last night, I filled up that very silicone mould. I looked here and I'm like, I've seen like someone who has a fridge with that on. Of like, oh, like yeah, this thing so stuck, awesome. and here it is. This, this is, this is the mold. God, it is huge. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a slab, like a brick. Yeah. It should just pop out. Um, okay. You wanna have a go? Let's give it a go. That we should see Harrison Ford as as an ice lolly. Yeah, as Indiana Jones in the Mosquito <laughs> Coast. Oh, has that worked? Kind of. Oh, it's, it's hard to see because it's so translucent. Yeah, I mean, it's the details in the mould. Oh, yeah. That's a good mould. Because I just put... It's a bit... Spray paint it or something. So <laughs> <we can> touch... <laughs> it's a bit Edward Scissorhands. Yeah. Right, so it's kind of worked, but it's a little bit frosty. Yeah. Um, yeah, so just spray that with prime. Um, prime. Oh, th that's going to cause him problems later. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I think we'll do? We'll leave this out. Okay. Just to see if he kind of gets a little bit un more misty. But why would you want one of that? That's a big old ice cube, isn't it? That is. What would you do with I it? I don't know. You're supposed to chisel bits off yeah. and put it in your drink. It's kind of like a feature for your garden in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> or you could fill it with plaster or something. I mean, you haven't got to use ice, have you? Yeah. Mm, that could be quite interesting. Stu. Yo. I know you love a good pizza. Oh, you betcha. Well, you need to cook a pizza. Do you want to get the oven on for me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what, what gas mark? Um, it's electric. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll, we'll get that going. It's got a little progress bar and everything. What? See, every this, oven needs a progress this bar. This is more Star Wars than any of the <laughs> stuff we're checking. This is My the God. gadget. This is actually a Star Wars oven, you see. Yeah. Right, Stu. Oh, God. <laughs> I do that, sorry. So it's, it's, I literally throw it from afar. Go, yeah. um, Smash the lights yeah, off. Yeah. yeah. This, right, whilst we wait for our oven to preheat, is Star Wars. Whoa, look at the reflection. Uh, oh, a Stormtrooper and Darth Vader salt and pepper pots. Nice. And it brings us on nicely because, you don't know, I have these things as well. Behold. <laughs> <laughs> I have the bug oh, ones as well. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, so this is just kind of like a Star Wars version of Amy in Boston. Ooh, oh, wow, they're pretty big. quality, actually. Oh, yeah, proper porcelain feeling. One miserable stormtrooper, three holes for salt, <laughs> and two holes for pepper. Invaders. That's not bad, is it? See, I got in trouble with that. See, when I showed this on the internet before, yeah. I was always told that the salt goes in the one hole one <gasps> and the pepper goes in the white, but then people, Actually, that's true. That played with people's OCD because the, the salt should be white, so it should go in the white pug and the pepper should go in the black. But see, there's no correct answer now yeah. because of the hole difference. Yeah. I had to... Well, I didn't argue with the internet, but that, they, that was very, they felt very strongly about that. This is true, actually, because the three would traditionally be pepper. Yes. And I was just saying salt because of the coloration. What should we do? Salt going in which? The internet's going to hate us. Yeah, we, we're doomed whatever we do. <laughs> we should do a quick Twitter poll for like one minute. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah three holes, two holes, but pepper black coloration, salt white coloration. Yes. I don't know. Damned yeah, if we do, damned if we don't. You're the guest. I don't want the internet to hate me any more than the pug. I think we should toss gate. a coin. Literally, okay. Yeah. Uh, the stormtrooper. If it's heads, it's salt. If it's tails, it's pepper. Okay, you, you ready? Heads, it's salt. Oh, this is tension. It's salt. Yes. The coloration wins out. <laughs> okay, cool. So the internet was right. Yep. Yeah. The whole. <laughs> <of the top. laughs> oh, it's no. just gone straight through. <laughs> 
<laughs> what does that? Oh is yes. This? How do you do that? That's... Yeah, you can have to cup it. Yeah. Because you literally got the hole there, and if you look quite closely through it, you can probably <laughs> you can you can see <laughs> clearly through. That's, what I was thinking That's a really happen. bad design fault, though. You should have some sort of like bike helmet for them or something, or <laughs> <laughs> some sort of so, cap. A uh, Tie fighter pilot helmet. Yeah. Yes, because I know what Actually, that they're is. Bo they're both already wearing helmets, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just need like yeah. a a cloth, a swim cap. Swim, that's it. Yeah. Star Wars swim cap. I'm sure such things have existed. Right. Are you ready? I was this, born ready, this Barry. This is the moment. We've taken the pizza out of the packaging. The oven is nearly ready. So one thing we can try and season with salt darf. No, salt oh, storm. I've forgotten which one already. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really matter now, does it? I think that one's salt, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, um, we can try and see if they actually will. We can season our pizza. So you Yeah, season our pizza just like we wouldn't normally. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> A bit of uh, salt on there to salt? ruin your pizza, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, that's lovely. Oh yeah, that's, oh, yeah, it's that's, working, that's working fine. How is the flow? Is it good? It's Steady. I'm trying yeah. to think of a Star Wars joke, but I have none. Um, it's fine. I can't think of a Star Wars joke. But steady. <laughs> that well-known line. There probably is one. You yes. can tell me that. You can be like, it's fine. That's what like Skywalker <laughs> says at some point. C three PO yeah. saying, the salt is steady, sir. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, that will do. Yeah, nice. That's, that's absolutely and fine. A little bit of pepper. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, actually, these work really well. They're just yeah. difficult to fill. Because you can get some salt and pepper pots that aren't the great, like those pug ones. The holes are actually quite small on it, and it, they can oh, get oh, quite oh. clogged, but they look pretty good. And do you know what? My present to you, you can Go take on. those back to Norwich and have that. <gasps> I knew it was worth coming. <laughs> it's time. I can't believe how high tech your oven is. <laughs> Wait, honestly, the best thing I've ever got is a decent oven. But you're about to be incinerated like Terminator 2. Brilliant. This, this is literally it. Judgment Day. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so we can just shove that in with our bare hands. Get yeah, in, there in that goes. Sign. Street on there, about 12 minutes, I reckon. Nice. Close that up. Star Wars pizza. You know, I annoyed your disclaimer at the start of the video saying that some of these gadgets are for people with disabilities and can help them in the kitchen. Uh, today, I think every single one of these are novelty. Uh, so have some fun with it, and we will sign one and do a giveaway as well. Is that right, <laughs> Just literally, yes. I thought you were a cardboard cow. Oh, <laughs> I don't forget to have a barathon because this is episode 50 on the playlist. There's 49 more episodes. In what? fact, if you've made it to this video, I'm getting uh, all 50 of these episodes edited together without intros. Is it going to be shown in cinemas? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a prequel to the Star Wars films. Um, so there's a, I think it's going to go around Christmas time. It's going to probably be hours long for the ultimate barathon. And this is going to be the last one. So if you've made it this far and you're watching this, I don't know, you don't win anything, but well done. Now I'll watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a triple whammy of Star Wars themed things right now to follow up, and it kind of goes along with our pizza a little bit. So we have got here, I've had this for about nearly two years. I like this. <laughs> Mrs. Barry's like, can will you please it, get this? Yes, you may. Oh, they've got Imperial mugs as well. I've no got a mug. Imperial measurements. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This <laughs> one's about 15 <laughs> Vaders. <laughs> Millennium Falcon acrylic chopping board. Do you know what the Millennium Falcon is? The Millennium Falcon is a spaceship yes. that the good guys are on. That's right. Yes. Do you know who owns it? Who is the captain? Steven Spielberg, probably. Not quite. <laughs> no, 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 George no. Lucas. George Lucas. Close, yeah. uh, uh, Han Solo? Yes. Is it? Very good. Do you know where he got it from? Uh, well, I was going to say Poundland, but there's just so <laughs> to, I don't know. Okay, cool. So we're going to use this. Our pizza is going on here. Lovely. It's, it's too small for the pizza. I will point this out now. It is, yeah. In yeah. fact, I did deliberately buy a smaller pizza to hopefully try. Oh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll um, see. I don't have some sort of shrinking thing, but if you're going to slice a pizza, you're going to want to use this thing. Ah, oh, it's a little BB-8. Yeah, that's one from that's the new films, isn't it? Can I open it, Barry? Can I open it? Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah. This is like the R2-D2 for the modern times? Yeah, but r 2 d is still in it as well. It's confusing. Oh, right, okay. This is a Xeon X Joy toy, which I'm going to be honest, sounds a lot more rude than it is. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Damn. So yeah, this is BB-8. But it's where's the pizza cutter? How does, oh my gosh! Oh, look at that. That's amazing! So you Whoa. just... Sharpness. Yeah, that's going to be sharp, mate. Yeah, yeah. I'm not used to the <laughs> So you're going to like roll it up so, and down? So Luke Skywalker lost his hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's all come together now. Well, what is this mystery box? Well, I wanted you to kind of look at this and tell me what you think it could be. The label has a very interesting description on it. This does seem to say Spoiler. gift box on it. I think it's supposed to say gift box. Gift it's box. Got really bad printing on yeah. it. Yeah. Well, this well, is the Death Star. I know yeah. that because I have a silicon mold 
of the Death Star, I did a few years ago a silver chocolate edible Ferrero Rocher oh, caramel edible Death one. Star. It was amazing. I was going to get the train up just to have a bit of it. Yeah. <laughs> I can Ooh, get, look, there you go. This is amazing. It's metal. It's held together magnetically. Is it? Yeah. And it's quite heavy. And I think it's broken because I, I, it looks like that should be glued into the top. Uh, yes. Yes, it should that, be. That's, yeah. a, that's a good start. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> a, a minute ago, I did actually drop that on the floor and it's oh, so heavy. I think it's yes. made a hole in my flooring. Brilliant. So, other than that, yeah, this has got to be a garlic crusher or something, sure. Well, I think it could double up as a garlic crusher. Oh, uh, because it does have the grooves in it. But we're going to kind of make it a little bit more pizza-y in terms of garnishing our pizza. So it's going to be a olive smasher. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what. It's actually the actual name is a herb grinder, which could be used oh. for many things. A herb uh, grinder. That's what it said yes. on there. Yeah, herb grinder was a famous baseball player. <laughs> This definitely needs a re-gluing after it was dropped. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> It'll still work. But it's, it's got these fine. sharp little grooves on it. Yeah. We're going to put some herbs in it and garnish after slicing our pizza in BB-8. So or made it all around with parsley. Smashes it all up and then, oh, there's even a little sort of sieve at the bottom. What is there? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Do they have that in the actual real Death Star? They did. Yeah. Most of the Death Star was sieves. <laughs> that's absolutely true. Yeah. All right, so we've got some herb. Mate. Yeah. Did we put a timer on that pizza? Uh, I didn't see you put a timer on. No, that. Uh, it doesn't say. Oh dear! <laughs> <laughs> What's it? What's the matter? Oh no 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 no! no. <clears throat> I can smell something bad. Okay, uh, it's, it's quite well done. Oh, this is burnt. <laughs> <laughs> Emergency! Oh no! Shutdown. Right, let's shut this off. Oh wow. Okay, let's. Um, That's exactly what I was about to say. Yeah, yeah. Smeg. <laughs> oh, Smeg. Oh no. Um, uh, other other Smeg brands are available. <laughs> I think grinding a herb has become a less of a priority right now. Uh, yeah, I think we need to deal with the, um, deal with the destruction thing. of the Death Star over there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> well, okay. actually, to be fair, I've had yeah. worse, but that cooked really quickly. Oh, it's, it's the right. So I thought that was going to be too big. There we go. Look at that. Well, well that is the star killer base of pizzas. We are um, having some Poundland sandwiches after this, aren't we? So We are. Yeah. So We better not eat too much. But should we see if we can improve the aesthetics by grinding on some herbs? Absolutely. Don't forget we can slice it with the BB-8 as well, mate. This, this is the right. Star Wars dream. I'm just going to shove some in there, I suppose. Right. Okay. Yeah. Grinding those yeah. herbs up. So they've gone from bushy yeah. This is how parsley. they power the Death Star with parsley. <laughs> it gets cranked. It's like so a wind-up. Yeah. A bit more parsley and we can blow up our planet, lads. <laughs> It's the original voice of Darth Vader. Is it? Yeah, actually, I think Darth Vader, the actor that played him, was from the West Country. He was indeed, Dave Prowse. Yeah, yeah. I he think did I saw him on a Cross Code Man. Did he? Which they usually dubbed him because he's got a very strong West West Country accent. Yeah. yeah. If you look on YouTube, they actually have some footage of him doing the voice on set. Oh right. The Americans referred to him as Darth Farmer. <laughs> <laughs> it may just be spinning around in itself. I mean, it's oh no, fun. there we are. Yeah. So we might be able to just tap him out. Or oh, the glue compartment will come out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's that's. It's that's kind of worked. Looks like something will be anything? arrested for, but um. Yeah. This... Well, that was what I was thinking. Like it might be. But look, we can yeah. garnish. <laughs> Just missing I mean, it. You'll, you'll have your fingers ripped to shreds <laughs> removing the parsley. They're quite sharp blades, are they? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yes, they are. Wow. That's how it minces up other planets. Because with garlic ones, they can be plastic and it's fine. It just crushes it. But there we go. This is we're cooking now, Stu. Well. We're burning. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hope you're enjoying the video. Excuse the woolly hat and all that stuff. I've just done a podcast with Alec Plowman, aka Dr. Cheeseboard, who used to do Barshans uh, with Stuart and I. Now, it was coincidence with the day that we uh, filmed this video that you're watching right now in my actual freezer with these really expensive sandwiches, four pounds Christmas sandwiches. And the video Stuart and I did uh, after filming this gadget video was a Poundland sandwich taste test, which is already up on his channel. Please do check it out. So I had them there and I said to Stuart, oh, do you want to taste them? He said, no, no. That is cool. So I've done them on my podcast and I've just done the episode now uh, with Alex. So if you didn't know, my new podcast with Alex is called the Stonkin Foodcast. It's Stonkin, S-T-O-N-K-I-N, Foodcast. It should be available on most podcast providers of choice. Have a little listen and a download. We would absolutely love it. You can find out what I think of these Christmas sandwiches. I love Star Wars. Bye. Right, the time has come, mate. <laughs> Is that the noise he makes? <laughs> exactly that noise. Right, okay. I was going to see if with the acrylic, it, no, it's got a bit of slide on there. That's actually very slidey. Slide on the floor and that will be a pug's lunch. So it's got a bit of a tougher friction to go through. Oh, yeah. it's, it's like a boss. Good. That's really good. Really good. 
I wonder if this is going to happen in the new film. <laughs> no, that's yeah. actually looking quite sharp, mate. Yeah. yeah, this is actually a properly good pizza cutter. And um, the depth is pretty good as well, because it's not yeah. touching the toppings. I mean, that's quite burnt, but it's still going through. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> We've made it like quite not the nicest surface for BB-8 to roll along. Here we are. Mm. Yeah, pretty good. Mm. Actually, somebody has ruined it by putting salt on it. <laughs> I was going to say, I could take a load of pepper on it. I wonder if it was that that incinerated it, it accelerated the cooking process. Like, Dad, what, what are we doing here? It certainly wasn't us for the same time. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. All right, we'll come over here whilst the kettle's a bit loud. This Ooh. is a magic oh, mug. I thought, I thought this was the box the um, salt and pepper came in. No, this is, a, this is a magic mug. That's all I know. Oh, I think I see what's going to go on here. What is it? So this is Star Wars. These are the various lightsabers of yeah. various Jedi, Basically, Dark Jedi and Sith. The equivalent of Harry Potter's wand collection. Yeah. But for the modern age. This is it. Or, or technically 20 years beforehand. Right? Exactly, not yeah. <laughs> You've got all your favourites. Go You've got to tell me who these characters are and if they're goodies or baddies. Right, okay. Actually, just tell me if they're goodies or baddies. Qui-Gon Jinn. Uh, sounds like a gin. That it does sound, sound like, like a gin. kind of gin. Uh, yep. Good. Correct. Played by Liam Neeson. Ambassador Jakar. Uh, I don't know. I think he helped me with my driving license, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nothing's happening, nothing's happening, nothing's happening. It might take a little minute to kick in, maybe. The tension is killing me. Oh, oh it's going white. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, that's a nice design, that's isn't it? That's awesome. I'm quite enjoying this. Well, it's not doing anything on the font. Let's keep no. that plain. All the joy is in the background. Oh, that's all right. That that's looks pretty good. Cool. It's really red good. and blue all the way around. Yeah. Have they got all the colours right? Let's have a look. Oh, it's right. green. green yeah. It's a green. Kit Fisto, yep. Darth Vader, Lincoln, Luke, yep. Obi Wan, Darth Maul, yep. Police Gang, Rocky Kendo, Kobe, Kenobi. Oh, purple. Yoda. It's a purple one. Look at that. Sarge Ventures, yeah. Mace Windows, it's purple. Right. Hey. I think. Samuel L. Jackson specifically said, could I have a purple lightsaber? Really? nobody else had a purple one. <laughs> that's awesome. A special one. And they're like, we will, but as a trade-off, we'll write it so that your character's really bad. Okay, great. Rubbish. That makes sense. Yeah, he's like, oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Bringing Han Solo back in for this, because he's, he's starting to see a bit more definition there, a little bit. It's, 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 yeah, um, his face has kind of melted off, Yeah, which is a bit of a worry. Um, this bit's looking good, though, so I don't know whether if we let it thaw naturally or if we help it with a lightsaber mug, or it, it'll destroy yeah, it entirely. It will destroy it entirely, and and remove all detail. Yeah. Which I feel um, could be a laugh. Let's do it. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Do you think it'll crack more when we put the hot water on it? I think it will actually just find a little pool. It might be, maybe in Harrison Ford's head and just sort of burrow its way through. <laughs> I think you're probably right. I'm quite interested by this. Let's, let's, let's begin the uh, thawing procedure. I don't know how well it pours. Oh. Oh. Look at this. This is quite exciting. Yep, that's, that's removed any further detail. <laughs> it's expected. basically smoothed it off. Yeah. To be honest, I think that mould would be better with chocolate. Yeah, I was thinking that's something more solid. Even some sort of plaster or modelling stuff. I'm going to do that now. Now? Yes! Do you have enough chocolate just knocking around? <laughs> I do, I have two kilos of chocolate in there. Oh wow! I'm going to do it now. Do you melt chocolate lots of times? You need to worry about that. Just know that during the making of this video, I'm going to melt chocolate and pour it in that mould. And by the end, it'll be in there. Wow. It might look better. This is um, R2-D2? It is, yes. correct. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Uh, this is a popcorn maker, R2-D2 branded. I've cleared space on my countertop over there. My toaster is out the way. Lovely. Uh, so we can try and try this out. Mm. So. This is it, right? Right, you have your heated chamber in the middle. Heated chamber. Much like the super laser on the Death Star. Of course. <laughs> I don't know. Um, on off button? Yep. Is that actually nice genuine? Does C3PO yeah, or he has have one on off button on his leg? It yeah, does. He turn one off. <laughs> Do you know what C3, uh, R2D2 actually is? Uh, uh, In the series, what his main function is? Uh, assistant. Mm, like a butler. Not quite. Chef assistants. Hey! hey! Spoilers. Polybius coming soon. Yes. Um, no, he's a space toilet. People take the top off and pee in him. I do not know if you're telling the truth. That's <laughs> very that much would not make true. complete sense. <laughs> That'd so be the... horrible. Well, he's just literally a walking dustbin. <laughs> he's got a so we're going to put the popcorn right. in the measuring cup, which yeah. is this. Okay. And, and as you don't know, if you do, well, as you do know, if you make popcorn from scratch with popcorn kernels. You put one seed in and the whole entire population of popcorn will come out. Yeah. It's crazy. It makes no sense. Yeah. You think, oh, I've put like three bits in and yeah. a million come out. It costs like one pound for a bag that will make you a billion pieces. So Bargain. it's going to get Ooh. heat in here. They'll pop. When they pop, more surface area. Yeah. And they'll come and 
the windle. And, and it's going to come out of here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's like the spout. And if it's anything like the one I had, it goes everywhere. Amazing. So that's, fun. that's what we want. Tell Star you what Wars else, Entertainment. Uh, you could do with that one. I don't know if this would work with this. So this is what you measure the kernels into. But equally, while it was cooking, you could turn it upside down, put butter in it, and it would melt there. the butter. Yeah, great in life hacks. This is yeah. brilliant. That's a great idea. So they do that a lot in Star Wars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's really good. Like, yeah, for the, a small amount, isn't it, really? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. As you said, it goes through. I knew this was going to rip at some stupid <laughs> angle. <laughs> they always, always do these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how careful you are. We'll make it good value, but we'll actually put it the most annoying things so you have to buy two. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. So it doesn't keep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. Right, right, cool. In that goes. That's in. That's on there. And that's on. that becomes, ah, yes, a cap to stop the popcorn coming out the top. Absolutely. Fire on. Boom. And then the power button down here. R2 D2 activated. Yeah. Oh, please make noises. No. No, just loud noises. But you have to make our own beeps and yeah. whistles. It's really loud. How's the pizza? Cold and burnt. <laughs> My favourite combination. Yeah. Things are happening. Oh, 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 there oh. we go. Look at this. It's not going everywhere. The one I had had a similar design, but things that just fly out at random angles. Yeah. And it hit you really early. Yeah, it's effective. That could be perfect portion control. Ah, not if you do it twice. <laughs> the dogs are hoping. Oh, oh, oh there we go, there we go. There yeah, we go. Yeah. It started. That is incredible, I love that. Yeah. Right, so now you can probably hear what we're saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a few little kernels unpopped that just flew out and I can so, see yeah. a few. But you should probably use goggles while you use this machine. Yeah, I think it's popcorn goggles. But let's have a look at that, that's very hot. Ouch, that's, ow, that's, that's very hot. Yeah, yeah, don't, yeah, that's how you can melt butter in it. Ah, yeah, Due to okay. the extreme temperature. Okay, so, okay, now it's just really hot there. Um, but look, that's ah. the amount of kernels. Yeah. It went level with that. And now we've got all of this. That's yeah. insane. And that had that probably cost 20p? Yeah, exactly, yeah. But the popcorn the maker equivalent. did cost £9,000. It smells so. like a cinema in here now. We it should go watch Star Wars. Nice. Would you like to try a piece? Yeah, it's alright, but it's a little bit bland. And you know what I was thinking? Rather mm. than doing a sweet popcorn, mm. we could do paprika. Do you like paprika? <laughs> I love paprika. Nice. Alright. I always like to keep paprika in my pocket. So do you want to just shake a little bit on there? This, this is a bit of cooking for you now, mate. Brilliant. We're actually going to get Stuart cooking some batter in a minute. Batter up. I don't know how much to put on really. It needs uh, a good, good shake, doesn't it? Yeah, good shake. Look at that. Right, I think I can see a few little <coughs> specks of there on there. Did you yeah. inhale some? I did. Oh, yeah. The brie goes straight in your lungs. That'll yeah. cure what ails you. That's all right. Yeah. It does. It needs some butter. Yeah. It needs a little bit of kick, doesn't it? It's the problem when you do it without the oil, it's healthier, but yeah. it's just not, it's just not like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. I'm actually really, really impressed by that. You could probably get one non Star Wars branded for mm. a quarter of the price. I, I bought one from a charity shop for three pounds. Did you? Did it have the spout on it like that? And yeah, but it went <sighs> everywhere and it went back to the charity shop. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Two more to go. Um, I need you to unwrap that. But, Barry, gift. Have you... <laughs> Have you read the sticker on this? Uh, so, well, I know it's a Stormtrooper apron, and well, it looks quite... Let me quite... read verbatim, right? <clears throat> Stormtrooper Star Wars Novelty Funny BB Aprons Sexy Rude Cooking Kitchen Apron Gift Stormtrooper GTP. Right. I like the sexy bit. It, wow. It's sexy and rude Stormtrooper. I'm saying why are we not this on? It's going to have tassels on it or something. <laughs> I just thought, well, Stuart's coming. I'll, I'll, I'll get a little, uh, you know, Star Wars apron. We're going to get you cooking. Okay, well it doesn't look particularly sexy. Oh, look at that! I'm disappointed now. <laughs> I like how it's like your neck is there. Yeah, it's your, <laughs> right down it's your there. Trooper. Right, so Stuart's getting cooking because the next gadget is uh, a waffle. Again, it's that BB-8 character. Sorry, mate. Yep, you are correct. This is going to be a whiskey step. Sorry. Uh, oh. This is a gadget as well. Oh, it's called the whisk wiper. Scrape off the stuff. That's clever. Yeah, isn't you it? make the batter and then you can scrape that it clean. Clever. And also, you can scrape the bowl with the actual angled bit on it as well. Oh. I don't know if that ever actually ended up going to market. Some guy sent me that and I did a video on it and I don't know if it ever took off, but it's a good idea. Apparently, we have to preheat it and stick the dial in the middle and okay. uh, it looks pretty detailed. Yeah, it's got a lot of little BB 8 markings on that. Yeah. So, I presume you just fill this bit and then get a BB 8 shaped waffle. Absolutely. Hello and welcome to a new episode of Cooking with Ashens. 
fucking <laughs> now. Are you ready for this? I believe I am. This doesn't look particularly complicated, but no, I'll no. be honest. There's we, some flour and some bits. Yep, we've got the dry ingredients and wet over there. In fact, the first thing to do would be to... We've got some milk, butter, eggs, and vanilla extract. Okay. The, the milk needs to be warm. Right. So... How long will that be for um, such an milk? Just do it in 30-second th blasts, probably about a minute. You just get it warm. Gotcha. Okay. So while that's happening, we can mix together oh, all the dry should ingredients. should take my watch off oh, for really? uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, sanitary <laughs> this purposes. This is how the pros do it as well. It's just like this. Not too tight. Look at that. Wow. Ow. How did that happen? It's that pizza. It's just, you know... It's, 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 yeah, so, so, it's gone straight to my wrist. <laughs> <laughs> so flour, right. baking powder, sugar and salt. Amazing. All, all those dry ingredients go into a bowl. Okay. I am cooking now. Baking powder is going to give it a bit of a rise. Yep. Sugar for taste, and salt for taste, and flour for binding it all together with the wetness. So all you want to do is make it together as Order. one. One other thing I need you to do. Oh yes. Is the butter. Okay. Could you please place that in the microwave and Certainly. melt it? How long it? will this need? Do you think? Probably thirty seconds max. Wow. Oh yep. Look that's, at that, mate. That's pretty much you done. You sure know how to hydrate a pizza? Hey. <laughs> that well-known Star Wars line. Really? Yes. Look at that. Yep, then the warm milk. Mm, heated moon mm, juice. Nice. So now, there's two other things. There's okay. the flavouring of the vanilla oh, extract and the eggs. And the eggs. So just a, t a teeny bit more than that. Like a good splash. Mm. One egg. Nice. It's uh, a whiskey business. Yeah, so we want to get it lump free. There's uh, quite a lot of lumps now. Is that enough? No. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to get this on and preheat it, it says to the middle dial and you can see they've got an, a second orange light here apparently when that goes off like a sandwich toaster it's ready straight on the oh, pokes oh that's so smooth man as you know if you wanted you could pass that through a sieve I don't have a Star Wars sieve sorry oh I'm not interested <laughs> it's not Star Wars it's not good no. to get it lump free my new aftershave spray oil for men mmm uh, we need to lubricate Masculine. apparently the plates so if you want to spray oh, and uh, and and brush. Oh, silicon brush. Yeah. So right. we just need to give it a little bit of lubrication. That, no, I'm not going to do that. Right. No, no. <laughs> and apparently if you want, you can use... Oh, well done. That's awesome. Nice. Right. Getting, oh, it's getting... not in the top, but yes, mate. Oh, that's good enough. Right. Down with the lid. There we go. Chef Ashen. Right. Are you ready? <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Yeah. All it right. smells good. I'm and sure it'll be fine. There's smoke coming off it. Yeah, it's going to be fine, Barry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't suddenly put Homer in the way, just like, whoop. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what's over there? <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, there's, a, there's a bit of structural <laughs> collapse. Is that where perhaps there wasn't quite enough to fill it, maybe? I don't know. I, don't... I think it looks authentic mm. like that, mate. Yeah. Oh, and you got a little aerial bit at the top or whatever it is. <gasps> oh! oh! Mate, right, you're a chef. That's amazing. You've done an amazing job there. Uh, that's that's really well. I've got you some chocolate hazelnut spread. Oh, lovely! Which isn't Butella. It's a it's a, a supermarket brand. Oh yes. Warmed it up in the microwave. Well, can we paint it on? Yeah. Do parts? a little drizzle with the spoon. Yeah. Or you actually want to like paint it? Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna fail miserably, obviously. <laughs> but we're gonna try. See, that's gone wrong already. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. Do you know something that can really help mask things sometimes is icing sugar. Oh. And I've got some there for you. Oh, look at that, mate. Yeah, you know, Christmas has come. <laughs> right. Brilliant. Well, do you want to taste it? Absolutely. Would you like a piece, Barry? I, I would. would um, you you can have his How's that? Uh, yeah, off with his head. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's quite cool. And I shall have this part. See that? It's actually, yeah, it's done inside. Yeah. The gadget has cooked it. Yeah, it's all right. Mm, it's quite eggy, isn't it? It is it, yeah. I wouldn't put less egg in it. Yeah. Excellent idea. That's really cool. And with a gadget, you never know if these things are going to work at all. Um, and it looked pretty well, real. It does what it says on the tin. Yeah. It looks just like the Han Solo mould didn't. Exactly. Mm. Han Solo has actually been frozen okay. in dark chocolate. Not Did you say carbonite? Carbonite, that is correct. Oh, right. Very good. Another point. Yay. Yay. Can you try and pop that out? Oh, yeah, for me, mate? certainly. Oh, oh. Sides down. That's coming cool. away like a dream. This is why I like silicone moulds. It's so much easier to yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Hopefully it's. I don't know how strong it's going to be. Oh, nice style, mate. Oh, oh, look at that. Yes. A couple of air bubbles, but not bad. That's brilliant, isn't it? Shall we? Yeah. Does that look like him? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, the mould works. 
brilliant. You want a chocolate bar? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit small for me. But that's amazing. Yeah, that's worked a lot better. Than yeah, yeah. And chocolate is just yeah. so easy to it finds its way. So. There we go. Stuart's just asked me, what do I do with the gadgets that I don't need or want? Uh, I give them away to charity shops or I also do a giveaway raffle on my Patreon. And Stuart and I have just signed the popcorn maker, which is amazing. Uh, so that will be a giveaway on uh, the next Patreon raffle thing. Uh, the last gadget, look at this. Oh, I'm excited by this. This is an astonishing piece of work, this one. This looks expensive. It's a very simple thing in, in its entirety because it's a toaster. Yeah. But Tostadora Darth Vader. Oh, brilliant! Oh, Darth Vader toaster. Look, it's actually supposed to imprint the Star Wars logo on the bread, and not only that, the toaster itself is uh, a Darth Vader helmet. See, I'm Star Wars through and through now. I'm intrigued by this. I, I thought they would have gone for a symbol as opposed to literally the Star Wars logo, oh, yeah. but I have no problems with this. Well, I'm oh my by gosh! This. Look at this thing. Okay, immediate worry. Uh, They've just put a plug and pin adapter on it. We need to double check that this will accept 240 volts. Oh yes, because, because of I course... know you do have form, Barry. Oh my gosh! I know you've got a straight line to the <laughs> fire. <laughs> okay. Oh lads, Barry again. Yeah, uh... yeah. I've got a step down converter now. If I need oh, it. Oh good man. That yes. Do we think we need no, it? That's fine. Is it 220 to 240 volts? Yeah, but so it's hertz. come with one of these on that. I've yeah, never seen that's that before. Fine, yeah. Look at this. Dark side or light side? Oh my god! Depending on how you want your toast done. Is that the heat controls? Yeah. I don't think it's going to do it, but I would love it if when the toast is ready, it does like the Star Wars oh, sound effect. Oh, it just it breathes heavily the whole time it's on. Yeah. <gasps> it's the chap from the West Country instead. He's the revenge. He's like, oh, your toast is ready. <laughs> That's what he's got gone down Hello, to. Oh, Dave Prowse. Yeah, Dave yes. Prowse. I think that may be emergency stop toast yeah, just button. Pop it up. Yeah. All right, we're oh, yeah. toasting. Is there a light on? There's nothing. No, there's nothing. It is staying down. The elements are heating up and going orange and bright oh, and all that. Obviously a lot less orange from when I did it uh, with a grilled cheese toaster. So, so yeah, that, that's one of my favourite videos. <laughs> <laughs> I was quite scared the first time I watched it. Well, I nearly died. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, was, I, I did it a second time. I shouldn't have done oh. it. Oh. Oh. oh, wait for it. Oh, oh. oh look. Stan Wart. Stan Wart. Stan Wart. Oh my god, he's on Stan Wart. Because oh, that's Thanks the thing, once it's down. popped up like that, yeah. if you press it down again, it's not going to line up, is it? No. That was oh, wow. Impressive. Okay. Well, it was the first go. Like I say, some, maybe some of those toxic fumes yeah. um, didn't help. It's nice. We're slowly dying in here, but it's worth it. Yeah. Um, One, two. We're going full dark side. Full dark side. side. We're going it. Yes. What do you think? I mean, I think it will stand out a mile, won't it? Yeah. All right, I think we're going to go for it. Dark side. Oh, oh. timing. <laughs> All right. Oh. oh, that's too dark. That's been lightsabered like crazy. Yeah. I mean, it, from afar, it looks hot. But look, you have... No, that is still slightly toasted. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Hmm. Ah. Still, still not, not the clearest of things, is it? Yeah, I'm just going to compare them. Ha, ah, sugar. Um, I don't know if this was ever commercially available, but it connected to the internet and got you a weather forecast, and it would give you the weather forecast on your toast. So it would come through <laughs> with like a cloud on it, or wow. rain, or sunny, or whatever. I don't yeah. know if you're fibbing right now. No, it's honestly. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Right, so I think the dark side toast does. I think this one does it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's getting toasted one side as well. Yeah. Yeah, so it's toasted one side. That really, from afar, I think it's it's passable. Yeah, it's the best one. Isn't it? Yeah. Tell you what. We should do a three quarters one because I think that dark one on the three quarters that might be right. the spot de sweet. Yeah, 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 okay. I just want to waste your bread, really. I thought I'm gonna raise a toast to that. <laughs> Yay! Wedding speeches ahoy! Blimey! It's just popped up, mate. Ooh, excitement. Uh, well, so this is medium. Oh, <laughs> Darth and the stormtrooper are coming to see it as well. So this is medium size. Yeah, this is like two thirds power. Okay. Maybe three quarters power. Let's have a look. This is the Actually, reveal. Oh! Mm -hmm. This is going to be the one. This is going to be the one. Ready? Oh, it's ah. useful still. Oh. It's just <laughs> never going to be that sharp. Nah. I'm not impressed with how they showed it on the box where it's like oh, it's incredible. HD. Yeah, they've yeah. literally got the logo, haven't they? And just put like burnt toast effect on it. Yeah. I think that's possibly the closest still. I think that's the best one. Yeah. yeah. I think we'll put a picture of us with holding that. That's, that's how we we'll sell this video. Or Absolutely. Not. So Barry, is the force now with you? The force is now with me. Will you me. live long and prosper? Yes, my stormtrooper and my Darth uh, are, are with me. For, you know, we're gonna 
battle through and keep understanding all these Star Wars references. In fact, in fact, you can take them home with you. Um, but you have to do a video now, I mean, don't you? Another one. Yes, we do. This indeed. is for Stuart's channel. We're going to do yeah. a Poundland taste, taste test, test on sandwiches. Yeah. So be sure to check that out. Have you ever had a sandwich from Poundland? I've never. I haven't either. No. <laughs> this is, this is going to be I'm a new so territory. That you haven't it? actually. No, I've never been round a Poundland at a time when I needed a sandwich. Yeah. I think they All used right. to look really bad as well, but now they're just kind of, I don't know, fairly <laughs> generic looking. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, let's have a taste and uh, check that video out. We're doing uh, that on Stuart's channel in a bit, so do have a look on there as well for it. And. Uh, yeah, thanks, Jay. You're thanks for coming welcome. all the way from Norwich for this. That's all I hope right, it's worth it? it. You get to go back with yeah, a load of toasters. Of <laughs> yeah, then look out for those on eBay, and uh, don't forget to check out the rest of the playlist. Have a barathon, and check out Stuart's channel, of course. And hey. yeah, it's a nice little Barshans reunion. That's nice. Goodbye. Goodbye. Check your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen's for me. Simon's mustache, goatee, maybe all three. 